Good evening. Welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Chandrakala Chaudhary. Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Friday, the 15th of June. Hundreds gather for funeral of journalists killed by militants in India's Jammu and Kashmir. Countdown begins for Taliban ceasefire in Afghanistan. And Muslims celebrate Eid al-Fitr in southern and western India. And now for all the details, hundreds of people from all walks of life bid a tearful farewell to senior journalist Shuzad Bukhari a day after he was shot dead by terrorists in India's Jammu and Kashmir province. More than 130 people have been killed this year in militant violence in the province. The last rites of Indian senior journalist Shujaat Bukhari, who was shot dead by terrorists in Srinagar city on Thursday, was held in his native village in Baramula district of northern Jammu and Kashmir province on Friday. Bukhari, editor-in-chief of a regional newspaper Rising Kashmir, was reportedly leaving his office in Srinagar for a pre-Eid party when militants emptied magazines into their victims at a close range. Although Bukhari and two of his personal security officers were immediately taken to a nearby hospital, they were declared dead. We had a very social movement, Shujad Bukhari Sahib, his death. And with us, our Surachabal, a very young man, a very young man, जिस बेदर्दी बेशर्मी के साथ कत्ल किया गया है निश्चित तौर से उसने एक बात फिर इस बार को इस बात को पुख्ता किया है कि ये आतंकवादी ये अलगाववादी सिर्फ इंसानियत के ही दुश्मन नहीं है बल्कि इस्लाम के भी दुश्मन है बुखारी वाज नोन फॉर हिज मॉडरेट स्टैंड्स ऑन कश्मीर इशू एंड हैड ऑलवेज एडवोकेटेड रेजोल्यूशन थ्रू टॉक्स इन द ट्रबल टोन वैली मोर देन 130 पीपल हैव बीन किल्ड दिस ईयर इन मिलिटेंट वायलेंस इन नॉर्दर्न जम्मू एंड कश्मीर प्रोविंस Police in India's northern Punjab province formed a second line of defense on Thursday along the India-Pakistan border to thwart infiltration attempts. New Delhi accuses Islamabad of training and funding militant activities to spread unrest in India, a charge which Pakistan denies. Police in India's northern border province of Punjab formed a second line of defense on Thursday along the India-Pakistan border to thwart infiltration attempts. Appropriate measures are being taken, particularly in Punjab's Amritsar city, to maintain border surveillance. According to reports, the Punjab border is also a hub of cross-border drug smuggling. Bulletproof buses and tractors, grenades and other weapons have been deployed for the same and security tests at checkpoints have been reinforced as have police patrollings. BSF is the first line of defence and we have created the second line of defence. So, this we have काफी राबी दरिया पे इधर हम जहाँ इन्फ्लेशन की वजह से हमने अपने नाके वगैरह लगाए हुए हैं हमारी सर्विलेंस यहाँ हमेशा रहती है। India accuses Pakistan of training and funding militant activities in India's Jammu and Kashmir and rest of India, a charge which Pakistan denies. Several terror attacks in India were perpetrated from Pakistani soil, including the deadly Mumbai attack of November 2008 when Pakistani militants had stormed the city and killed over 100 and wounded much more. Floods triggered by heavy rains in India's northeastern Tripura and Manipur provinces have rendered hundreds homeless. Rescue workers have been working round the clock to carry out search and rescue operations as several people are feared to be trapped in the floods. Incessant rains in India's northeastern Manipur province on Thursday created a flood-like situation and threw normal life out of care, displacing over 100 residents in the area. The torrential rain in the last two days led to searching of local water bodies with water making its way among the houses and on the roads. People were seen making their way through the inundated towns by walking in waist-deep waters and carrying their belongings on their hats and on makeshift rafts. Rescue workers have been working round the clock to carry out search and rescue operations as several people are feared to be trapped in the floods. 
We are trying very hard. We are assessing the situation. So far, uh, four is proved to be trapped. Uh, as of now, we have received another information that one more is trapped. So we are trying to rescue them as of now. Around six people have reportedly died in the 48 hours of torrential rains and landslides in the northeastern provinces of Manipur as well as Tripura. Flooding is an annual problem during the monsoon season in South Asia, but the impact is worsened by crumbling civic infrastructure, clock trains and uncontrolled urban expansion. Moving on, agitated employees of Water and Power Development Authority in Pakistan administered Kashmir recently carried out a protest in Muzaffarabad city. The employees held a demonstration against the Pakistani government demanding their pending salaries and other basic allowances. Some of them even blamed they have not got a raise in their salaries for the past 20 years. In the wake of the Pakistan government's plan to privatize the Water and Power Development Authority or WAPDA in Mozaffarabad, several government employees held a protest in Pakistan-administered Kashmir demanding salary hikes and their overdue pensions. Enraged over the proposed privatization of the electricity distribution departments of the WAPDA in the illegally occupied region, employees blamed the corrupt Pakistani government and its bureaucrats for bringing it to the state of insolvency. आप 25 साल सर्वस करने के बाद अभी भी उधर ही वर्क चार्ज में कोई बैठे हुए हो या उधर ही बैठे हुए हो हमारे साथ ये जो नाइंसाफी हो रही है हम किसी सूरत में भी इस नाइंसाफी को बर्दाश्त नहीं करेंगे अगर हमारे मतलबा जल्दस जल्द तकसीम तस्लीम ना हुए तो आगे आने वाली जो मुश्किल टाइम है या जो हम Protest against the autocratic rule is not a new sight in Pakistan administered Kashmir. Locals often take on the streets, shouting and demanding even their basic rights in their own region. They allege it is a part of Pakistan's agenda to keep the region underdeveloped, which it illegally occupied more than six decades ago. In news from Afghanistan, the countdown for the terror group Taliban ceasefire has started in Afghanistan ahead of Eid. Last week, when Afghan President Ashraf Ghani announced an eight-day ceasefire, the Taliban responded by announcing a three-day ceasefire over Eid, which has been welcomed by many Afghans in the country. The countdown for the terror group Taliban Sisfar has started in Afghanistan and according to the Defense Ministry, all members of the group can enter cities, including Kabul, to spend time with friends and family over Eid. After Afghan President Ashraf Ghani announced an 80 Sisfar last week, the Taliban responded by announcing a three-day Sisfar over Eid. Meanwhile, the U.S. Army has stressed the need to strengthen the capabilities of Afghan government forces. We're into making them more self-sufficient. هدف ما با خود بسندگی رسانیدن نیروهای دولتی افغانستان است. همان گونه که فرمانده ما در افغانستان همیشه گفته است، هدف نهایی ایجاد شرایط از رهگذر نظامی برای مصالحه در این کشور است. Already in its third day, government Sisfar was again mirrored by clashes between government forces and militants with the Afghan National Defense and Security Forces on the defense. Meanwhile, the High Peace Council in Afghanistan said government is ready to extend the Sisfar if the Taliban gives a green light. People across India are flaunting their love for soccer as FIFA World Cup 2018 started on Thursday. Fans in India's eastern football-loving city Kolkata even added a flavor to the tournament with themed sweets and cakes in a bakery. Mega football fans across India on Thursday flaunted their love for the sport on the opening day of the FIFA World Cup Russia 2018. In southern Kochi city, football fans showcase their love for the current Brazilian football team with photo frames of star players and sat on the boundary wall outside the house painted in the colors of Brazil. The house named the House of Brazil was spotted in the colors of the Brazilian flag with everything from the interiors to the vehicles parked outside the house depicting the theme of the football frenzy country and Brazilian national flags mounted on the top of the house. Younger to be a dear Kunilla or Goet. Utrimis, Rimoder, the Kanuan and Purita, 
എല്ലാവർക്കും ഒരുമിച്ച് ഒരു സ്ഥലത്ത് ഇരുന്ന് കാണുക അതാണ് ഞങ്ങൾ ഉദ്ദേശിച്ചത് അത് ഭയങ്കര വളരെ സന്തോഷമാണ് നാട്ടുകാർക്ക് എല്ലാ പിള്ളേർക്കും എല്ലാവർക്കും അതെ പ്രായവ്യത്യാസം ഇല്ലാതെ എല്ലാവർക്കും വളരെ ഇഷ്ടമുള്ള ഒരു കാര്യമായിരുന്നു എല്ലാവർക്കും ഇഷ്ടപ്പെടുന്ന ഒരു കളിയുമാണല്ലോ ഫുട്ബോൾ അതുകൊണ്ട് അവർക്കായിട്ട് എല്ലാവർക്കുമായിട്ട് ഒരു വേദി ഒരുക്കി കൊടുക്കുകയാണ് ഹൗസ് ഓഫ് ബ്രസിൽ Meanwhile, a bakery in Eastern football loving city, Kolkata, added a flavor of the tournament with themed sweets and cakes. One particular cake which attracted many was in the shape of a football field with the World Cup match ball Telstar in the center. Uh, World Cup football comes once in every four years and uh, every Bengali is uh, crazy about it. And uh, I would say we are also uh, very fond of World, uh, World Cup and football. And so we had to do something about uh, in football theme sweets. So we did this uh, Sondesh in the shape of World Cup itself. And uh, there is Messi, Ronaldo, uh, we'll, we'll also do Neymar. India is the world's second most populous nation but it is a major underachiever as far as soccer is concerned and ranks 107 in the current FIFA rankings. Muslims in India, Southern Kerala and Western Gujarat provinces celebrated Eid al-Fitr on Friday. The festival marks the end of Ramadan, the Islamic holy month of fasting. The whole of India will be celebrating Eid on Saturday depending on the moon sighting. Eid ul-Fitr, the religious festival of Muslims, was celebrated with much fervor and gaiety in the Indian provinces of Kerala and Gujarat on Friday. Locals in Kochi city of southern Kerala province were seen offering prayers at a mosque together and wishing each other on the occasion. We are celebrating Eid after a happy spiritual revival. This day is to rejoice. for all the muslims of the world and the liberal people of the world on the auspicious occasion of eid muslims in surat city of india's western gujarat province also gathered in a ground and offered special prayers even though the whole of india will be celebrating the festival on saturday the muslims of kerala and gujarat decided to celebrate it as the moon was sighted there Meanwhile border officials from Bangladesh and India's border security force also exchanged sweets and greeted each other in Siliguri city of India's West Bengal province Eid marks the end of Ramadan the Islamic holy month of fasting and as believed it is celebrated on the first day of Shawwal the 10th month of Islamic lunar calendar the celebration date of Eid varies from place to place and completely depends on the visibility of the crescent moon Well that's the way it was in South Asia this evening before we conclude the top stories once again. Hundreds gather for funeral of journalist killed by militants in India Jammu and Kashmir. Countdown begins for Taliban cease fire in Afghanistan. and muslims celebrate eid al fitr in southern and western india now our viewers can watch the show on southasianewsline.com you can also visit us on facebook.com/asianewsline and follow us on twitter at asianewsline that's all in tonight's edition we will see you same time next week have a great weekend good night